they feud. You decide. It's time for Film Feud. Come with me if you want to feud. Dude, we shouldn't be doing Arnie impressions. I will ruin this episode. I know what yours is. It's something, something chopper. Get to the chopper. All right, let's just start off the episode with... Uh, <laughs> not going to hate on the special effects because it's a 1991 movie, if I'm not wrong. It's kind of crazy how, how, how they sort of hold up. I kind of agree with you there. But I feel like he just had so much focus on all of those elements of the movie that everything else just fell flat. Like what? The casting, man. I firstly, Linda Hamilton is amazingly casted. And no, I feel like he just got stuck with Linda Hamilton because she was part of one. That's no way to talk about his wife at the time. <laughs> and what John is- Connor, dude. That kid's supposed to be 10 years old in the movie. All right. He's so supposed he to be 10 years old in the movie. Dude, he's like a time travel baby. You know, it's got to have some impact. Like his... His father, he needs to send back his father and all that. He, he's like, you know, that Please stop. time paradox Please stop. grandfather. Just he's stop. his own son. You have to admit, he doesn't look 10 years old. <laughs> all right, he doesn't look 10 he's, years old. He's riding dirt bikes all over town. You didn't ride dirt bikes when you were 10? <laughs> no, man, I missed that part of my life. Just, I don't know what happened there. But <laughs> You know what I kept wondering is like, who is this 10-year-old stuntman that they got? Or who is this 18-year-old stuntman <laughs> who's playing a 10-year-old? <laughs> And then they they run to this elevator. Yeah. So there's this one scene where um, where Sarah Connor, John Connor, are already in the elevator, and and Arnie's just like shotgunning him to like stop him. Yeah. And then he just turns around and starts running in his balle balle fashion. Have you noticed that? What? Because he has the shotgun in one hand, and for some reason his other hand is also up when he's running. Just notice that it's hilarious. <laughs> and like and like T1000 in just like perfect form, like Olympic athlete running. Yeah. And Arnold Schwarzenegger is running like he has bricks in his underwear or something. <laughs> Linda Hamilton twin mirror scene. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I can't believe she has a twin firstly. Aren't you amazed sometimes that there are twins in the world? (laughs) (laughs) Nice side note there. Uh, So they shot the uh, scene where she opens up Arnold's head and removes her chip that allows him to learn more things. Mm -hmm. And the way they did that is by using Linda Hamilton's twin and like a, a sort of a fake body of Arnold and so they pretend to be sitting in front of a mirror but it's actually Arnold Linda Hamilton Linda Hamilton 2 and an Arnold that they open up and it's just like so amazingly shot that is like typical James Cameron innovation amazing execution I cringed when he's like oh I understand why you cry now and I can't cry I'll like, grant you that, that was thumbs stupid. up when he's going down hey, hey, all of that. don't you dare say anything against a thumbs up <laughs> that thumbs up just fuck it how dare you it's that just... thumbs up is like the thumbs up in modern cinema that combined with the thumbs up that Sunny Deol gives in Border are the greatest thumbs up in cinematic history and I look, can't believe look, obviously I'm not gonna hate on the Sunny Deol Border thumbs up 